the song Viva La Vida by Coldplay, uh, which I was just improvising around, um, derives from a Spanish phrase meaning live the life. It takes its name from a painting by the Me Mexican artist Frida Kahlo. Um, and it's a poignant song with poignant lyrics, which somehow speak to me of today and today's reading. I'll put the link to the um, original down here so you can have a listen. But the lyrics go a bit like this. I used to rule the world. Seas would rise when I gave the word. Now in the morning, I sleep alone. Sweep the streets I used to own. I used to roll the dice, feel the fear in my enemy's eyes, listen as the crowd would sing. Now the old king is dead, long live the king. One minute I held the key, next the walls were closed on me and I discovered that my castles stand upon pillars of salt and pillars of sand. Today is Old Testament reading. If you read the daily Bible readings for the Church of England, is from Daniel, Daniel chapter 2. Nebuchadnezzar, the Babylonian king, had dreams. He challenged his astrologers, not only to interpret them, but to actually tell him what the dreams were in the first place. Daniel told him all about his dream. And the dream was of an enormous statue. The head of the statue was made of pure gold. Its chest and its arms were made of silver. Its belly and its thighs were made of bronze. Its legs were made of iron. Its feet partly of iron and partly of baked clay. And while the king was watching, a rock was cut out. But it wasn't human hands that were cutting that rock. The rock struck the statue on its feet of iron and clay and smashed them. Then the iron, the clay, the bronze, the silver, the gold were all broken in pieces and became like chaff on a threshing floor in the summer. The wind swept them away without leaving a trace. But the rock that struck the statue became a huge mountain and filled the whole earth. And so the king was puzzled, but Daniel told him, the God of heaven will set up a king, kingdom that will never be destroyed, nor will it be left to other people. It will crush all those other kingdoms symbolized by the, the head of gold, the arms of silver, the belly of bronze, these kingdoms and empires which come and go. It will crush all those and bring them to an end but it will itself endure forever. This is the meaning of the vision of the rock cut out of the mountain, the rock made not by human hands, a rock that broke the iron, the bronze, the clay, the silver and the gold to pieces. We now know that that rock is the rock of faith. I'm reminded of Jesus' words to Peter, upon this rock I will build my church and the gates of hell and death will never prevail against it. And now we're stuck in the beginnings of another lockdown when our empires seem to be crumbling, when everything we had built turns to dust, when our hopes, our dreams are disappearing. And yet, and yet the rock endures. Paul said to us, these three remain. When everything else is gone, faith, hope and love. And so we hold on to that rock of faith, even though our castles stand on pillars of salt and pillars of sand, we know that we will live forever. Verse two of the song by Coldplay carries on. It was the wicked and wild wind blew down the doors to let me in shattered windows and the sound of drums. People couldn't believe what I had become. And I'm reminded when I hear those words 
of that wild wind of the spirit who blows wherever the spirit wishes to blow. And so my prayer today is that prayer that that Holy Spirit of God would blow in us and through us, stirring that faith within us to be a giant rock to cling on to when all the rest of the world is in chaos. Come Holy Spirit and fill the hearts of your people and kindle in us the fire of your love. Send forth your spirit and we will be created and you will renew the face of the earth. Fill us with your love. Fill us with your faith. Stir up our hope. Amen.